Oh, oh. Sorry for that yawn, you guys. I just woke up from a nice 10 hours sleep. But speaking of sleep, why do we sleep? Sleep is quite the scientific mystery, so we don't really know a lot about it. But the little we do know about it allows us to make some pretty good theories about the purpose of it. What we do know is that reptiles, birds, and mammals all sleep, and they do so fairly often. And by studying the brain patterns of these animals while sleeping, scientists have come up with four big theories explaining why we might sleep. The first one says that we sleep because it simply saves energy, and the research does back this one up. Humans use 10% less energy while sleeping, so maybe sleep is just our way to pack on less calories throughout the day. Theory number two says that we sleep to give our body and brain time to repair. Throughout the day, our body and brain are working tremendously hard to keep us alive, so there isn't a lot of downtime to rest. This is why some scientists theorize that we sleep, so we have time to feel up and repair. Theory 3 is pretty contradictory to what common intuition tells us because it says that going unconscious for 8 hours a day can actually keep us safe from predators. Sounds crazy, I know, but the logic behind this one is that by not moving, you're not drawing attention to yourself, therefore keeping your body safe from predators. Now, I'm not really sold on this one because it seems a little far out there and a little iffy, and I don't think you guys really are either, but never fear, we have one more theory to discuss. The last theory says that we sleep to get rid of useless information and to preserve important information. Let's say, for example, of course, I listened to the radio the other day and heard a song. That day, I might remember a couple of the lyrics because, you know, it might just be a catchy song, but it's not really important, so at night, my brain gets rid of it and leaves space for other information. On the other hand, important information, like let's say I graduated, is reviewed and kept in your brain so that you don't forget it. And now with that all in mind, we should probably answer one last question. How long can you go without sleep before you die? Sure, it might be a little grim, but numbers show that we couldn't last long. After one night of sleep, humans become irritable, and after two nights, concentration becomes hard, your attention span decreases, and mistakes are much more common. Three nights and, well, you're pretty much a useless human being. You suffer from deep hallucinations and clear thinking is impossible. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending how you think about it, we don't have a specific answer for how long it takes for sleep deprivation to kill you because we just don't throw people in rooms and poke them so they don't fall asleep. But we do have some numbers for our common science test buddy, the lab rat. Rats died within a month without sleep, so the fact that our bodies are more complicated and require much more of everything isn't too promising. So although we don't know much about sleep itself, we do know that we need it for one reason or another. So now if you'll excuse me, I think I'm gonna go lie down and sleep for a little longer. This video has been tiring. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you guys would like to see some other content by Science Saturdays, be sure to click on the pictures below. Now you guys, in this video, I played music throughout the whole entire video, and personally, I like it. I feel like it gives more substance, but if you don't, please go down to the comments below and say that. If you do like it, I want to hear that too, so please communicate your thoughts about how you liked it. Also, if you guys just can't get enough science, there is a great YouTube channel that I suggest you guys checking out. The link is in the description below, and the YouTuber is named 23dodobird23. He does a bunch of cool astronomy videos, and I think you guys should check them out, because you're gonna learn a lot, and they're really pretty awesome. So once again, like I said, link is in the description below to his YouTube channel. He's a great person and a great educator. So once again, if you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Science Saturdays bringing free education to the modern world.